the worst parking I've ever seen you do in my entire life. Wait, wait. Where, she and Jake where are you going? <laughs> don't, don't. <laughs> Aja is having the worst <laughs> parking ever. Y'all are testing me about that, and y'all are cooking as heck in that parking thing. What? <laughs> no, man. Oh, yes, you are. Yeah. Scotty's kind of. Uh... Back in. Back in. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, I have a. Wait a minute, hold on. Yeah, two you're, different lines. You are. You're really crooked. I have a line that. I have a concrete line, and I have a different one. So. Oh. The bunk on the concrete, or. Yeah, Hon, I have concrete on this side, so... Is it raining? I don't think so. Okay. Alright. Maybe we're parked correctly. Welcome to El Paso! <laughs> <laughs> craziness happened. Good morning, everybody. Hello, all. Might not be morning when you're watching this, but it's our morning. We are in El Paso, Texas. We spent the night at a Walmart here. <laughs> and when we drove in, we, we met a viewer and the very first thing he says is probably not a very good place to be he said this isn't the best the part of town yeah but we had absolutely no problems here it was actually one of the quietest walmart parking lots i've ever slept in yeah <laughs> so we are getting ready to head down the 10 that's the route we're taking to san antonio and there is a little place, a neighborhood over here that has a house that is called the House of Sugar. And it is a work of art that a guy has been working on for over 25 since, years. Since I 1973. Think it is. Yeah. And all the fencing is done out of um, concrete, but he's done some really cool things to it. So we're going to take you guys and show you that, and then we'll get on the road. Head south toward Dyer Street. All right, everybody. So we've made it here to the Sugar House. And uh, the gentleman that owns the house is over there talking with uh, Miss Terry. So I just kind of wanted to grab the GoPro and show you a little bit. And she will um, maybe do a little interviewing with him and everything. Such a kind man. He came and pulled over. Uh, and he came out and he inter introduced himself to Terry. I believe it's Mr. Bervino. I could be wrong because I was kind of walking inside the RV at the time. So let's check it out. It's a beautiful day here in uh, El Paso. I've gotta, sometimes you got to remember where you're at. So he's having a conversation with him. I'll show you around a little bit. And uh, he said it was okay to videotape. And what he was saying is he's done this all himself. And it's just absolutely awesome. Twenty-four years. It took you twenty-four years to do it. Yeah. Wow. And it is it. How did you do this? It's a uh, cement. Like, is, is it all hand carved? Uh, yeah, it is cement and then uh, I paint it. Wow. Now, do you use, um, do you use like forms to do it or you carve it? Uh, the molds. Molds. Well, uh, sometimes I use molds, but the molds, I did it too. Oh, it's just really neat. I uh, don't uh, don't do not anymore. No but more. I give uh, maintenance. Yeah. I Almost every day I paint. I uh, you know uh, sometimes it's destroyer some flowers and, and I did did it again. Okay. Okay. I read that you um, did this for your wife. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, I like it. She wanted something pretty. Mm -hmm. That is a work of love, definitely. And 
it's a Sunday. What a beautiful day to be here on a Sunday. It's clearing up. I have this behind me. I feel so blessed sometimes being able to travel down the road and, and see all these neat things. See, the little eyeballs. Somebody's always watching. He's even done the walkway. So intricate and beautiful. All right, well, you'll have to um, ignore the background noise because the freeway is right behind his house. His little sign says, this house is a little piece of Mexico. He says he doesn't do anything anymore, but I bet you uh, he would probably love to do something right here because it's an empty area. It's not a whole lot of that here. Okay, that's the house of sugar. Soka, that, I would have to say Suka. in their word. That is amazing. Um, for one, that just all came from his heart for his wife. He wanted to do something beautiful for her, and <laughs> that's what he did. Did a good job. Yeah, he didn't want to talk on camera. Um, you do see a glimpse of him. He didn't. I. He said I could film. That was okay. He just didn't want to talk on camera. So. That's it, guys. It's um, if you get into El Paso, just uh, stop by. It's not. It's what uh, two blocks from the Walmart that yeah. we were at. It's not very far. You can just look up House of Sugar and get the information on Google. And I think it's definitely worth a stop just to walk around. He doesn't mind if you walk around the whole block here and see what he's done. And he was so, happy to come out and talk with you and yeah, everything like such that. such a friendly gentleman. I, I seen that when we walked up and yeah. everything and he came out and I'm like, well, I'm going to get my camera and kind of get you interacting with him. And he was just such a nice guy. Yeah, really sweet. Yeah. Okay, we're going to get on the highway and let's see if we can find something interesting. I can. <laughs> ah. All right, we're going. Bye.